There lived a family of ducks. The mother duck laid many eggs each day and carefully warmed them with her body. It's all right. You can come on out. Then, one morning... <gasps> with a crispy crackling of their eggshells, a brood of cute little yellow ducklings popped out, one after the other. <laughs> but one large egg remained, unhatched. What's the matter with this one? It's the only one that won't hatch. The lady duck next door had a theory. That one's probably turkey egg. No point warming it. It won't hatch. You best get rid of it. No, I think that if I warm it a bit more, it'll hatch. I'll give it a try. Said the mother duck. Three days passed. Almost overnight, it seemed. The little yellow ducklings became expert paddlers, swimming all over the pond. But the mother duck patiently waited for the remaining large egg to hatch. Finally, it's hatching! With a crackle and a crunch, the last large duckling was finally hatched. But what popped out was a gray-colored, scruffy, feathered, ugly duckling. What happened to this one? Dirty coloring at all. I told you this one was a turkey. Quack, quack. But this ugly duckling was paddling around in the pond in no time. When the mother duck saw this, she said, after all. And she raised the ugly duckling with as much care and love as the other ducklings. Dirty duckling, go away. You're too ugly to be a duckling. Get lost. The other ducklings would peck at the ugly duckling with their beaks. They'd even steal his food. They simply wouldn't accept the ugly duckling as a member of the family like themselves. When he was paddling around the pond, they'd jump on his back. His feathers were always ruffled, and he was always the last one in. <laughs> Why am I the only one who gets picked on? <laughs> Every day he was teased and bullied. Every day he wept. Oh, you poor thing. Are you being teased by your big brothers and sisters? You just hide away here under my wing for a bit. You'll be fine. One fine day, the mother duck lined up all her little ducklings and said, No matter what you're coloring, you have to get along. Understood? The ducklings replied, <coughs> The ducklings called the ugly duckling into a field full of ripe yellow wheat. With their yellow coloring, the other ducklings could hide better amidst the yellow wheat, but the ugly duckling's gray coloring stood out. In tag, or hide-and-seek, the ugly duckling was always it. <laughs> Looking into the pond, the ugly duckling could see his scruffy image. It isn't fair. It isn't fair. How come I'm the only ugly one? Just some trick of the gods? Looking at the yellow wheat field and the farmland that seemed to go on forever, the ugly duckling thought that somehow there must be some friend for him somewhere. He plucked up his courage and told the mother duck how he felt. My, a voyage? But there are so many dangerous things in the world.
Nevertheless, while the rest of the family were still asleep, the ugly duckling left home. Passing through the familiar wheat fields, he entered a large forest where he encountered a huge dog. Hmm? The dog stared at the ugly duckling, then went on his way. I'm so ugly, even the dog can't stand looking at me. <laughs> the ugly duckling grew sadder and sadder, but he kept prodding along. Finally, he came to a small house. A cat and a hen lived there. Come in, he asked the cat. What are you good for? I can swim. If it doesn't help catch mice, it's totally useless. Can you lay a lot of eggs? If you can't, who needs you? The cat was furious. The hen, ill-tempered. That night, the ugly duckling slept out back on a bed of straw. Looks like there's just no place for me to go. It was so cold in the straw. The ugly duckling shivered all night. The next morning, the ugly duckling left that house. He walked for days and days. I've been walking for so long. I'm hungry. Quack, quack, quack. Just then, a vast lake unfolded before his eyes. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. His spirits restored, the ugly duckling swam about as happily as he had at home, diving for small insects to eat. Eventually came the cold winter. The lake began to freeze over. Insects became scarce. Finally, there was no food left. The ugly duckling lived by eating the remaining roots of weeds until he lost his strength and collapsed. Look, father. A hunter and his son found the fallen duckling. The poor thing. The hunter and his son took the ugly duckling back to their home. The fire was burning merrily in the fireplace. <gasps> oh, where am I? I've been saved! But now that the ugly duckling was awake, uh a small boy tried to pick it up. <coughs> the ugly duckling had grown much larger since it was born. It spread its wings and beat them about, knocking over a vase and sending the tableware and a sack of flour flying. Hey, stop! Thinking that the hunter's son meant to bully him, the ugly duckling fled in a panic. Time passed, and then the long-awaited spring arrived. Insects and fish returned to the lake, and now the ugly duckling had grown big enough to catch fish. In the spring sunlight, a flock of giant white birds came to the lake and landed there one after another. They were exquisitely beautiful, with pure white feathers. Ah, oh, what beautiful birds! I wonder if they would be friends with me. They'd probably turn me down. But it doesn't matter. I'll be brave and ask them anyway. So the ugly duckling addressed the beautiful white birds. Please, let me join you. What do you think happened? Oh dear, you're all alone. Do come swim with us. The ugly duckling was astonished by such kind words. And then, looking down in the water, it saw the reflection of a gorgeous white swan. Ah. Was I always such a beautiful bird? Its heart pounded with excitement. 
And now the ugly duckling took wing, flying up into the sky along with its new companions. What gorgeous swans! Look how the sun is reflected off their wings! After many years of suffering, the ugly duckling had at last found happiness. Proving, as the ugly duckling thought to itself, that one must never, ever give up.